What's up, y'all? It's your boy Carcino, man. I got a, a lot to do today. So I want to make sure I lock a lot of things up and take care of a lot of things. Uh, first off, I think the show with DJ Academic and Joe Button, Everyday Struggle, right now is I only seen like what, two, three episodes? And it just started Monday. I think marketing was a little bit off. And people wanted my assessment of the show and wanted to know what it what I thought. Some people don't know what I was talking about. And I made a video promoting it. People's like, what are you talking about? I was like, oh yeah, I saw a video of but they didn't know what time to start, where to go on complex. Now, the demographic for this show is like 18 to 25. So you're looking at the 18 to 25 bracket and trying to hit very, very high on those numbers. And by, I guess it's internet or television or whatever, you know, this is what is, it's not for me is what they, what I'm trying to tell you. It's not they didn't design the show so that I could be watching it and even though Joe is older than me. Now let's go into what this show is based off of. This show was based off Undisputed. I can look at the format, I look at the shots, I look at the way it's it's set up, and I said somebody got real high was watching Undisputed and said we should just do this for hip hop and came up with this show and watching this show I think I see an an, issue you know that I would correct it's a good it's a good show but it could be great I think it has a potential to really be something. I think they just need to find that rhythm to where it would make sense. You know, some of the stuff they do, I, I, like I said, is might be designed for the 18 to 24 bracket. What I'm saying is watching the show early on and just making the assessment off the first two episodes, I'm not dissing them. I want to get that clear right now because 18 to 24, y'all don't know what dissing somebody is. This is constructive criticism, meaning that the things that I'm saying about this show, they could use or probably tweak to make the show better. I mean, I just, this is a show I could probably watch for 15 minutes or less, to be honest. Because to me, it just, the monotony of it just gets dull. And the reason why it's getting dull, because the, you need something in between to like space it out, break it up before you guys go to another subject. Um, the guy who does the editing is not doing a good job, I don't think. The person that's moderating need to have a little bit more, like, say, and a little bit more of a voice. The hip-hop issues that they're talking about in the current events, no one seems to have a passionate position on anything. And I see Joe trying. I shouldn't have to see you trying. I see DJ Academic really trying to find an angle as to how they could he could go at Joe Budden and challenge him on certain issues, which means that they've rehearsed. And when you rehearse something, sometimes it don't come out raw like the original thing. Now, like I said, this isn't for me. Like, it's not designed for my age bracket. 
But I know how a format of a show runs. And I'm watching this episode and I was like, wow, they got to prepare better. It's a good show. It's not great, but it can be great. They just need to prepare better. They need to have notes. No one's going to think less of you if you have notes in front of you. Because it becomes dull. It becomes dull like this. This is not like an average conversation. This is a forced conversation. You know, when you really don't have an opinion on a subject, but you have to because it's your job, sometimes it shows. And in this, some a lot of these instances, they're forced to have an opinion or feel a certain way or have to talk about something they don't feel like. That's what it seems like in certain, you know, just early on. But I see Joe trying. Like he's trying to be out of his character a little bit you know like animated and half feeling about some things that he really don't and the fact that you know DJ Academic going in on Joe Button I mean it's only so long you could really do that unless there's a passion for doing it I'm very proud that they got this show. I hope it's successful. I really hope they pick it up and make the tweaks to it. Because I'm quite sure, you know, the first week, you don't judge really judge the show off the first week. But I don't know if it was launched right. I think once they launched it, it was, the advertisement was, unless, like I say, unless you're 18 to 24, you probably knew exactly where it was coming on. I had no idea where this show was coming on. Was this complex? Uh, somebody just told me it was complex news. So I had no idea where this show was going to air, when, if it was going to air, what what was going on. No, I'm like, I have no idea what's going on here right now. None whatsoever. So in actuality, I'm just along for the ride. But for a YouTube personality to really a YouTube personality and video gamer, DJ Academic, you know, coming to this platform to do this, you know, says a lot. You know, I root, I root for guys like that. I'm not a hater. I really will hope he makes it. I mean, maybe it'll open the door for Complex to come get other people. People be like, man, you going to do a show? I'll be like, yeah, I don't see that. <laughs> I don't see. I'm not in that age bracket where they want to do a show about me. The show won't go well. We'll be eliminated in our first <laughs> couple of weeks. they would be like, you can't talk about him. He's he's on the show this week. I'll be, oh, well, are we talking about that album? That album was terrible. Well, it's it's for the young people. I'm like, oh, well, he's older than me. Why is he wearing all them holes in his pants and ashy knees and stuff? I'm like, I don't. We don't need to see that. Who he dressing up for? I can't see a chick going for a guy like that. He looked like he's homeless. So they wouldn't have me on that show last than a week. But what's your opinion of the show so far? And have you seen the show? Let me know. It's your boy Carcino. I got to get out of here. Take care.